Hello, welcome back. In this recording, I'm going to be talking a bit about patch operations, which generally speaking is just a way we can uh, change some of the information contained by the built-in defs, assuming you know what a def is, uh, in the game of this, in the context of this game, um, patch operations just let us change specific uh, areas of uh, those XML files. So just as a, as a bit of an example, uh, right here I have the XML file open for the uh, recipes for meals, different meals. So a good kind of example of a patch operation we want, might want to do maybe um, is for this one right here, it's cook simple meal bulk. So that's cooking four simple meals at once. You could, for example, with a patch operation, change the count required for a specific ingredient, right? So you can kind of target um, specific, what are they called? Nodes in the XML and replace them with kind of whatever you want, right? And, and you can be as general, right? So you could replace this whole thing if you wanted to. Uh, and you can also be extremely specific uh, and, and only replace one tiny thing or one tiny thing inside of a, uh, this nesting right here. The only thing to consider when when kind of deciding, oh, do I want to override the whole thing or do I want to override one tiny thing uh, is compatibility. The more you overwrite, the less compatible what you do is going to be. So if you overrode this whole thing, for example, um, you might run into compatibil more compatibility issues than you would if you just overwrote one, one tiny element. So the way we can kind of implement, uh, let's see, let's see what's a, what's a good example. Um, yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to start with, uh, as, as an example of what we can do here is changing this count required for the um, for this specific recipe. So um, the way we can do that is if we go to the project that we made previously, uh, these kinds of operations, patch operations, will be placed, well, actually you don't need to place the, any any files in any specific place, but it's good convention to put patch operation definitions inside of this patches directory. So what I'm going to do is add a new file to this patches directory. It's an XML file. Uh, I'm just going to name this uh, recipes meals patch dot xml um, and the first thing we have here at the top it's pre pre done with visual studio it's the encoding of the file which is uh, important for this this kind of xml definition so that's the first thing we're always going to have in any one of these files um, then the next thing we want is the patch definition so we have something like this and then for the for this specific operation that i'm doing as the example um, let me see what's the best one to use i believe yeah so what i'm going to use is a uh, patch operation called the replace operation so we have an operation node with a class attribute of patch operation replace like that. Okay. Uh, and then within this, um, within this operation, right, the first thing you need is to define the, the kind of X path, which is generally the, the path that takes us within the XML, right? It's, it's not, it doesn't actually care about the file structure at all. Um, so right for the, for the example of this, this one right here, the beginning of the path is actually defs. Um, if we, where is it? I'm going to actually, let's see. 
yeah, I'm actually going to edit just the, the simple meal one because it's close to the top. But basically the, the path that we're looking at in this case, I'll minimize that, is defs because that's the, the root node of the XML in this case. Uh, and then it's going to be a recipe def, right? So let's, let me write this out. So we have slash defs uh, recipe def, is that what it was? Let me see if I can split this right. Yep. Okay, so now I have defs recipe def. And then what we do is with some brackets, we can filter out the specific recipe def based on the, uh, the def name. So inside these brackets, we can say def name equals, uh, and then I'll just copy directly what the def name is just like that. Uh, and then because we want to modify this count, right, it's kind of nested a bit. So within this recipe def, right, because this, this kind of um, access takes us to the, this, this root XML, right, takes us to the recipe, recipe def XML, we want to go then to ingredients, which is just in, inside of that. So we can say the next one is ingredients. Um, and then what we have is, I think I can do this list, list item, uh, filter. Oh, no, that's not what I want. I go inside the list item and then I want to replace the count. Right. And actually this is a good example of when you can kind of decide if what, how much you want to replace, because I could, for example, just replace this entire ingredients node. But what I'm going to try just for this example is to simply only replace this line or that section anyway. So list item count, and I think that's, yeah, so that's, that's all I need for the path for that. Uh, the next thing we need to define is the new value, the new XML value that we're going to have. So I'm just going to change this count to, I don't know, 4.0, because that's kind of noticeable. Okay. Uh, and I think that is all we need to do. Um, I'll get back to you. I'll rebuild the project, change to solution view. I don't believe you need to rebuild it if you only change some XML definitions, but I'm just going to do it anyways. Uh, and then I will get back to you in just one second when the game is open. Okay. So as you can see right now, I am in the game. Uh, and if we click on this fueled stove and have a look at the bills for the simple meal bill. Now we see, right? The bill requires four nutrition as opposed to the, I think it was 0.5 it had previously. Uh, we can see if that's consistent, right? Yeah. So, um, let me just look again at the XML. So for this cook for simple meals, that one is 2.0. Uh, and for the single one it's 0 0.5, but now with this cool override patch we've done, uh, now we've changed the requirement for this, this specific one to four. So the, the great thing about these, these kind of patch operations is you can actually just apply them to any existing def in the game. So if there's uh, an armor, for example, you wanted to change, you can literally anything that's inside of that, uh, that data directory, uh, inside of the game, the game directory, you can change any of that XML to be whatever you want. Um, as I have said, though, as uh, just, just keep in mind compatibility. If, if you intend this uh, mod to be used with anything else, right? If, if you're like me and you make some mods that you would never intend to publish though, you can actually just do whatever that you want. Um, but generally it's best to modify the least you can, right? I could have accomplished this exact same thing, um, by going and saying patch 
operation class. I'm going to just copy this. It's going to be invalid because I think I already have the patch defined for this one. Yeah, but that's okay. Don't worry. Um, I could actually just say, look here, I'm going to take the, um, just the recipe, right? The recipe def. And then I can literally copy the entire thing. That's not the right one. Uh, it's this one. You could, you could also just do this, copy the whole thing into the value and override it that way, right? You can then just go in and change, you can change everything at once, right? So I can just do, ooh, 400, 4, thousands. Um, it, it, it accomplishes the same thing, but I think it's actually, it's a bit easier to do it the simple way, right? Because you don't have to copy everything and then look through it all. And it's a better practice in general. Um, so as far as the other different kinds of patch operations, they, they all kind of operate in the same way. They have the same kind of XML syntax as this. Um, a few of them do, do, do different things, right? So the add operation I could use to add a list, list item into this ingredient. So if I wanted to add another kind of ingredients, um, like some of the other ones have meat raw and animal product raw. You could also add that in with the um, patch operation add. You can use the patch operation insert to say if, if a def is missing a, a, a node like this within it, right? We can, we can insert something like that. Um, the thing, the difference between insert and add though is insert say we maybe target the def name um, insert will add a sibling, right? So they're on the same level. Whereas add, I think will add it as a child. So it'll add it internally. So if we added something to this ingredients thing, it becomes nested like this list is okay. So that's, so that's how the difference between those two remove, you could do, you could use to remove something entirely. So we could just get rid of the ingredients, make it free, uh, replace I've used just here to replace a specific value. Um, and then there are a couple related to attributes, the uh, kind of uh, similar in a different kind of way, right? So for example, this recipe def has this attribute parent name. You can use some of the patch operation attributes to change these kinds of inline attributes. If, if you'd want that also, uh, there are a couple, let me see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are, there are a couple more. I'll link the, the page on these that goes into more depth. Um, so you can browse that if you're interested, but that is all I will be covering now. So I hope this was helpful. Goodbye.